Hey designer, Alex here. Welcome to this course about Inception Design System for Adobe XD. If you want to check out the full playlist with all the videos, make sure to click here or to click down in the description below. Link is going to be there. So enjoy this lesson. In this video, we are going to talk about flowcharts, what they are and how can you use them in your own projects. So here we are once again inside of Inception Design System master file and flowcharts are located right here and they are also located right here. So let me zoom in a little bit just to show you what's included. So we have desktop flowcharts, we have mobile flowcharts, we have task flow elements and flowchart elements. Of course, task flow elements, if I zoom in and hide myself just so that you can see this a little bit better and also let me hide my grid so you can see it a little bit more clearly. So task flows are obviously for uh, task flows. So you can use all of these elements for entry, for action, for process and for decision. And of course you can connect all of these elements by using any one of these arrows. Each and every arrow is of course the component and all the components that you can see right here are the master components. And of course you can drag and drop them from here. So if I open this up, you can see that we have task flow elements. So if I drop this down, you have the steps. So all of these steps right here, so entry action process and decision. And we also have arrow process, so process one all the way to five. And of course we have negative. So if the step is negative, if your users cannot go that way, of course you can include that where it says no. You can simply drag and drop all of these components, replace them like I showed you for the icon in one of the previous videos, simply drag and drop the component on top of an existing component and it's going to replace it with that particular component. What we also have are these papers. So we have A4 size in this portrait mode. We have A4 size in landscape, we have letter size for US um, users and viewers, and of course we have letter size in landscape. What's great about these papers is this, so let me switch to my layers panel. When I click right here, you can see all of these things right here on the left. So I purposely wanted to use these papers in order to show you. You can print these out quite easily. So you can select any one of these, let's say A4, and you can select Control or Command E. This dialog is going to pop up and instead of PNG, you can choose PDF. You can export this PDF, which is ready to be printed. So. What you can do with this is actually quite simple. So we have dot grid inside. We have all of these dots. If you want to create your own wireframes on piece of paper. So if you want to draw them, you can quite easily export this empty page or you can turn on the dot grid. You can export the dot grid and you can see how it looks like. Of course, it's created um, using Adobe XD latest features. So you can see that I use stack for this one and if I select the dot grid, I use stack for this one as well, just in other direction. And 32 is the distance between all of my dots. Next up, we have phones. So if I hide my dot grid and click on my phones, you can see how the phones look like. Of course, in future updates, I'm going to add different devices, but this is where I need your help. If you want a particular device, if you want these devices to be bigger or smaller, I'll look forward to your feedback and I will gladly include more devices in, for example, different angles, let's say landscape for this phone, for example, so if you want it without a notch, with notch, with hole punch cut out, with the teardrop cut out, let me know uh, and I will gladly include them in future updates. But once again, these are just to be printed so you can draw quite easily on them. Next up, we have a responsive. And for this responsive, what I did is I simply created um, this um, browser mockup and you can see that on this side you can draw for a uh, big so for desktop let's say and on this side you can draw for tablet or for mobile of course you can drag and skew these for example if you want to make this right one a little bit smaller or if you want to make this left one a little bit bigger so you can do all of those things if you want to next up we just have the browser and this browser is full width as you can see and finally we have flowchart info so you can use this flowchart info so for the client, who is your client, what's your project name, when is your deadline, number of website pages, number of app screens, and you can write all of these things down. Of course, you can simply turn on and off all of these. And just to show you, everything is adapted for landscape as well. So here we have responsive, for example. So now we have a bit bigger um, browser right here and a bit smaller browser window right here for the phones. Now we have them in different orientation because we have this space. But of course, you can change these and you can adapt them however you want. These phones are taken from these components. So everything is created from atoms and molecules. So these phones are actually taken from here. So if you change these colors, if you change the um, corner radius, let's say, 
play on them if you change the outline color everything is going to apply to these screens right here inside of our papers so basically that's how easy it is to use the papers and finally let me quickly show you the desktop flowcharts and mobile flowcharts what you can do is copy and paste them from here these are all original components and if you're working inside of the light file you cannot do that you have to drag and drop them from the left hand side so let's do that let's click right here on the a4 for example and let's bring in the flowchart info like this so what i'm going to do is for example come right here and let's say desktop flowcharts headers i'm going to open it up and drag and drop it in place and let's say that i don't really like it and i'm going to replace it so simply drag and drop this into place you can see how it looks like and in case you want to edit something you can simply right click on this component edit master component and then edit it from here or you can right click right here edit main component or you can do it from here or you can select it and you have this little pencil right here you can click edit main component it's going to take you to its main component which is located right here and then whatever change you make right here it's going to translate to this instance that you dropped right here so once again when you click you can change it so let's say i'm going to use this number eight that's enough of headers let's use content let's use content number six for example you can simply line it up like this that's enough for this let's use forms because i just want to use the forms and i'm going to drop it right here let's say that my client doesn't like it maybe they will like this one they like this one that's fine and let's go with the team for example drag a team right here so you can build these complex flowcharts or you can simply leave this as a website page uh, on its own so this one is going to be one this one is going to be two so you can do whatever you want with it next what i'm going to do is simply duplicate these ones not to take too much time and let's say position uh, this right here and let's say position this one right around here so what i'm going to do is click on this one and i want to do portfolio so let's say portfolio desktop and let's say i don't know i want to use features so let's say features right here and i want to use this one to be i don't know block let's say so block one position right here i don't like it maybe i want to change it make it be blog number five and there you go so you get the idea how simple this is to change how simple this is to adapt and finally what we need to connect these are these flowchart elements so don't copy and paste from here if you don't want to you can simply drag from here so flowchart elements open them up so we have devices we have numbers icons and i'm interested in arrows so let's say arrow number one I'm going to drag it and let's say that when users click on this button i can click on here position it right to here and then simply extend this to meet with my arrow so you can see how simple this is to use and if you don't like this arrow maybe you want to replace it so simply drag and drop onto the position of this particular arrow or in this case i want to drag it let's click out first select it and let's say i want to use this one for example drag it in place but just make sure that you drag it uh, on top of existing uh, component if you want to replace it or if not make sure to drag it next to it so it doesn't replace with the original component so let's say that this one i want it to go to here and i can click right here extend this and there you go so you can see how simple this is once again when you change colors colors are going to also update for the arrows you don't need to you can update the colors right here so these are all the master components and if i click right here and show you let's say this one let's click inside you can see that it has the filled in diamond this is the default state so once you change it right here if you use this arrow for example throughout your flowchart is going to look like that so what you can do is you can use mobile flowcharts you can use desktop flowcharts or you can use these task flows you can create uh, easy task flows you can create complicated task flows so it doesn't really matter how you are using this this is the beauty of it you can simply adjust how you want to and finally if you don't want this to look like this maybe you want to put a dot grid for example so you can always go back and hide the flowchart info bring back the dot grid and then you can see how it looks like so it completely changes the look and feel of this particular flowchart and once again you can click on the r port size and you can go right here to the main colors let's say i want to bring this dark color for example then you can bring the dark color and get the dark 
paper look if you want to if you want to export it like that but in this case make sure just to change the color of the arrows because you can see how it looks like you cannot really see the arrows so that's the whole point of these flowcharts is to give you this creative freedom to create whatever you want without any limits without any borders or barriers so you are the one who is in charge i'm just simply giving you these guidelines rough guidelines so you can follow them you can ignore them it's all up to you i'm just showing you how i structure them but it's all up to you how you want to turn them into real designs that your clients are going to fall in love with. In the next video, we are going to talk about templates, why they are important and which templates are located inside of Inception Design System. So I'll see you there. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to check out the previous one from this playlist, make sure to click right here. Or to check out the next one from this playlist, make sure to click right here. If you want to see full playlist for all videos from this course, make sure to check down in the description below. Link for the full playlist is going to be down there in case you missed something.